Hello everyone, Leah from Toon Runes here, and today we're going to be talking about White Diamond and her connection with the other three diamonds. It's been a while since I made a Steven Universe video that isn't movie based, so I thought it'd be good to go back to that again. Especially considering I'm sure we'll have more than enough to talk about once SDCC rolls around in a month. And speaking of going back to content that isn't Steven Universe movie related, today's sponsor allows me to do just that. Welcome to Amino Stories, the new way to rapidly share multiple ideas and cover as much ground as possible. You may have heard of the Amino app before, but the Stories feature is brand new and is an excellent way for content creators to communicate and get diverse content out to their fans. I've been creating Stories for Amino for a few months now and there's over 20 videos that I've made exclusively for the app. I've covered topics like my top 5 foods in Steven Universe to my top 5 funniest moments of the show. Because these videos are so short, I'm able to cover a lot more topics than I normally can on my channel. Once you've downloaded Amino, go up to the search bar and type in Toon Runes. My profile will be the first to pop up. Once you click on it, you'll be brought to my profile which will have every single story I've ever created on it. There's a lot of exclusive content on there to look at, so be sure to search for me and follow me there to get even more content outside of YouTube. Now back to the subject of today's video. One of the questions that's been bouncing around in my head since before the end of Season 5 has always been, what was the purpose behind creating the other diamonds? If White Diamond believed she was so perfect, then wouldn't she want to be in control of everything? I mean, to an extent, I guess that she is, especially since she can be seen doing the bleaching process as a last resort when the others refuse to submit to her. However, she still gave them responsibilities and control of a pretty large portion of the Gem Empire for someone who has very little faith in their abilities. So this begs the question, why create other diamonds in the first place? After all, if it was just White Diamond in control, she wouldn't need to worry about any mess-ups. She could do anything she wanted without opposition, and so in theory, there wouldn't be anything she would need to correct. If she had never created Pink Diamond, the entire gem war would have ceased to exist. This means that there had to have been a reason that she created the other diamonds. One that would have outweighed the potential side effects that we see as a result of having created them. And believe it or not, we sort of have light confirmation as to what this reasoning was. In Change Your Mind, White Diamond talks about all the imperfections in each diamond, but in a very particular way. When referring to Yellow Diamond, she states that Yellow Diamond absorbs all the blue in her spectrum, but as a result is weak when it comes to Blue Diamond. When referring to Blue Diamond's flaws, she talks about how she absorbs all the warmth in her spectrum, and how as a result she thinks that she needs Pink Diamond. White then goes on to say that she's certain she doesn't need anyone because she's every color of the light. The most interesting thing is what she says next, however. She then says, but you're a part of me the part I always have to repress. So, the one thing that we know and have known about the gems is that they're made of light. Their physical forms are a physical manifestation of light, the only portion of their body that actually matters is their gemstone. Their gemstone makes the reflections from light to create a physical form, one which they can alter whenever they wish. However, their physical form's colors are limited by the color of their gemstone. For example, a gemstone with only blues in it cannot have orange in their projected physical form. From what we've seen so far, and given the quotes from the show, the canon heavily adheres to the real-world physics of light and color reflection. Now, I'm not going to get too into it because the actual science behind it is pretty complicated, but essentially in real life, the colors we see are an illusion. What makes up color is actually made up of things called wavelengths. Wavelengths all have their unique looking color. Wavelengths with shorter waves are your cools like purple and blue, and wavelengths with higher waves are your warms like yellow and red. Now, something that always messed with my head back when I was working towards my environmental science degree is that nothing actually has a color. It's all an illusion. Something that appears to be red isn't actually red. The reason it appears to be red is because that object absorbs all the blue and violet from the other end of the spectrum and then reflects the red side of the spectrum. This leaves your eyes with the illusion that the object you're looking at is red. Now, in instances with white and black, it's the same principle. White absorbs no wavelengths and it reflects all the colors of the spectrum. This is why things appear to be white because they are reflecting all wavelengths and absorbing nothing. Things appear to be black when they are absorbing all wavelengths because they are reflecting absolutely nothing and absorbing everything. Humans can see these wavelengths because of things in our eyes called rods and cones. We can see different colors than dogs, for instance, because our eyes are set up differently and can see different variations of wavelengths. I'll be including a link below to where you can learn about this phenomena, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to stop here with the science lesson. Essentially, what I'm saying is that White Diamond feels she doesn't need the others because she reflects their spectrums. White is all colors of the spectrum being reflected, so she has no need 
need for pink, whereas blue feels she needs pink because it is a color that she cannot reflect and instead absorbs. This is why yellow is also weak for blue since she can reflect warm colors like pink but absorbs the cool colors like blue. It's all very interesting when you think about their character dynamics being tied in with the colors they are. With all that explaining out of the way, however, it's time to go over why White Diamond made them. Because if she's white and is technically all colors, why did she feel the need to make them? Well, to talk about this fact, we need to bring up the episode Familiar. We get a scene with Yellow Diamond in the extraction chamber where she leaks fluid that is drained before she leaves. During the official Reddit AMA on January 21st, Rebecca Sugar stated the following in response to this question. What is the purpose of Blue and Yellow Diamond's sweat being collected in each scene in the episode Familiar? And the answer was, to create more gems. This is an important part of the substance injected into kindergartens. Please see how gems are made. This confirms two things. That one, the diamonds are needed for the creation of other gems. And two, the substance collected from them is what's injected into the earth via gem injectors. We aren't really sure what exactly that substance is, but we know it's essential to gem reproduction. Going off this fact, we can assume that white diamond has the same ability that yellow is shown to have. What I'm getting at is that it's very possible that similar to how white diamond bleached all the gems back in Change Your Mind, she could very well also have bleached herself. Imagine if White Diamond was able to create blue, yellow, and pink by getting rid of the colors that she was absorbing. By expelling those three, she would reflect all colors instead of absorbing them. This is why each diamond would be a different color but also have extreme personality traits. Yellow Diamond is hot-tempered, Blue Diamond is melancholy, Pink Diamond is empathetic, and White Diamond is apathetic. It's possible since White Diamond views emotional gems as flawed that at one time she also viewed herself as flawed. This is why she decided to split herself into four parts. Parts, white, yellow, blue, and pink. This is why she very explicitly stated to Pink that she was always the part of her she had to repress. Pink Diamond stood for love and empathy, so she may be referring to the fact that she needed to put how she feels about blue and yellow aside to reach peak performance. This is why she made Pink Diamond, and it's why she made the other two diamonds as well. She didn't want her emotions getting in the way of what she needed to do, so she separated herself from them. This is why she appears to be apathetic up until the end of the episode when she begins to reflect the color pink. Steven's aura affected her and so she could no longer push back the emotions that she had long been estranged from. While the gem empire is certainly efficient, it is in no way moral or humane. In order for White Diamond to reach what she believed to be full efficiency of herself, she needed to transform into a ruthless and apathetic leader. This is what led to her abusive and harmful behavior that we see at work in the show. She didn't need more hands to handle all of her responsibilities. She needed more than one vessel to carry her emotions. But of course, this is just a theory that is in no way confirmed to be canon. Do you think that White Diamond split herself into four different parts, or do you think this is all purely coincidental? Let me know in the comments down below or over on my Twitter what you think. Today's video is powered by Patreon. My top tier patrons are Zachary Ansley, Sodden Grider, and Charlize Jefferson. It's because of people like them that I can continue to make videos and I cannot thank them enough for their support. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to see more from me. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day, everyone.